What's up, everyone? Christian Duke, StrengthEdX.com at Gary Udits 2019 MPC Teen Collegiate Masters Nationals. I'm here with Mary Beth Ewing of Phoenix Fit Bars. Mary Beth, how are you today? I'm great. I'm done. <laughs> she's done. After 15 years off the stage, she's back, competed in women's bodybuilding yesterday and women's physique today, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Um, class B. So, in 55, age 55 and over, um, 50 and over, and 45 and over. And all the while owning Phoenix Fit Bars. And yesterday I said taking fitness bars to new levels. It's, it's actually taking fitness bars to new heights. heights. Yeah, it's important to get that right. But uh, tell me a little bit about the difference uh, today from yesterday. Was there any differences in the diet or any changes? Uh, uh, did you regroup? I mean, it, it, it's so close. I mean, it's one yeah, day it difference. Was, it was difficult because I'm not used to doing back to back like yeah. that. So you kind of got to stay on your diet even though you just want to splurge. Right. But um, um, I was more relaxed today. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a stage person. Mm -hmm. So um, after 15 years yesterday was kind of rough so today I felt a little more comfortable getting back into the element and I just have to um, this this next year coming up just perfect my posing and my weak spots and stuff like that absolutely now yesterday we were talking sort of uh, off the record I'm gonna ask you something and if you don't want me to put it in I'll take it out but have you ever thought about figure Yes, actually, um, I had just talked to one of the judges, and that's actually what I want to do because I'm not the size I used to be, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I want to be that big mm -hmm. anymore. And but I'm I'm big enough to be in a national level figure. Right, right. Yeah. And that's the thing. And so I wanted to make sure it was okay to put that on there. But you are in a very unique position because you can be competitive on the smaller side of women's bodybuilding. You can most definitely be competitive in women's physique, but there's also figure. Right. So you're like in a, I mean, you instead of having two rows, she has three, which is, adds, you know. Right. Now, in terms of the bars, um, where do you see the business for the rest of 2019 and going on to 2020? Well, after this, th this was kind of like this... I kind of like took some time just to get ready for this show. I mean, I was continuing doing my bars, but now I, I want to take it to another level where I have an investor that's coming in. Mm. Um, we're looking into expanding um, business in different levels, not just in the, the bar business. Okay, okay. But with the bars also, they do require refrigeration, which you know does make the business plan a little bit more intense. However, though, these bars belong in every gym in the country and you know uh, with with uh, meals with uh, pre-workouts RTD protein drinks I mean it's like they're made for them was it this morning I got the greatest hookup this gentleman uh, works for this company that does um, meat bars meat sticks or okay. something and same thing so he gave me the packaging and there's this iron iron sleeve you put in it and it, it takes out the moisture hmm. so that they don't mold as quickly so this may like extend my life a little bit yeah. longer and you know help me uh, mass produce them and that's awesome and I know that a lot of folks in the fitness industry are very very business savvy so this sort of thing they're gonna really appreciate because many of you are business owners and you know it's, it's very difficult especially when you have principles like Mary Beth you know they're vegan bars dairy free non GMO gluten free soy free so it's not like you're just throwing something out right. into the market right I mean the shelf life is three weeks refrigerated um, and that deters a lot of um, businesses. Right. You have to have great turnover. Right. And most of my, my gyms and CrossFits and even coffee shops and that, they turn them over within a week's time. So uh, that, uh, and the, the only way you can do that is like I go in and I do demos and you, you have go. to introduce the product because it's going to sit on the shelf. Nobody knows what a Phoenix Fit Bar is. I've been telling her to go on Shark Tank forever. I'm serious. Mark Cuban, if you ever see this, yeah, you know. Yeah, he's from Mount Lebanon. That's where I'm from. There you go. There you go. All right. Awesome. And then your social media for you and the uh, fitness? Uh... Um, Phoenix Fit, F-E-N-I-X, Fit, C-O, is my Instagram. And you can just order direct from there. I ship across the country. And um... do you know my... <laughs> <laughs> and her Instagram is Phoenix Fit Co. So F-E-N-I-X, F-I-T-C-O, Instagram. The, and there's a Facebook, too. But And there's a Facebook, too, which is uh, Facebook.com forward slash Phoenix oh, fit in fear. So Phoenix, the letter N, uh, Phoenix, the letter N, fit, F I T, and then F I E R C E. Yes, that's right. That's right. Thank you. For, uh, <laughs> for Mary Beth Ewing, Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thanks.